Our kid to know today has a passion for serving her community and is on her way to a big competition this fall where she will proudly represent the state of Illinois. And here with me now is the 2023 International Junior Miss Illinois preteen, Jordan Huskison. Jordan, we are so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here too. Well, and this is not your first appearance here on CI Living. <laughs> no. We love when you come to visit us. So let's kind of remind everybody who you are representing this visit and some of the fun things you enjoy doing. Well, my title right now is International Junior Miss Illinois Preteen. That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. and it's more, tell me about this pageant because it's not necessarily like some of the other ones that people may be familiar with. No, well, this one is a pageant that's more of academics and also it awards scholarships based on your achievements, your volunteering and community service, and it also teaches you a lot about poise and teaching you like, interview skills for whenever you're older. And also, this is my first international pageant that I've done, so there's going to be girls competing from all over the world, which is really cool. Well, that could also be a little nerve-wracking, so I'm glad you're getting some practice here with us today on your interview <laughs> skills. Let's talk a little bit about the volunteer aspect because I know that is something very near and dear to you. You helped helped my family out with a blanket, with your blanket of hope. Why is volunteering something that, that you enjoy doing? Well, I've been doing it since I was six years old because that's whenever I got my first title, which was Little Miss Champaign County Fair, and I did it with my Queen Claire. And ever since then, I've just been doing it a lot because I love helping people, and especially at the Ronald McDonald House where I get to be chef for a day and cook meals for the families there, which that's where families stay whenever they can't like stay anywhere whenever their kids are in the hospital. Right. It's really fun to go there and help everybody. Well, yeah, we've been looking here at some of the pictures of some of the things you're doing. What are all the eggs about? Well, the eggs was a fundraiser for Toys for Tots where we egg people's yards on Easter. So we got a bunch of eggs and filled them up with candy and toys and then put them in people's yards uh, by different amounts that you could pay for. And these tubs here, what is in the tub? Stuffed animals. <laughs> Where are they going? Well, it's for my platform. A lady, she donated a bunch of stuffed animals that we can use to put with my blankets that I tie for kids with cancer. And also just a fun fact about those, I know I've said it before, but we use fleece for those because it's the only type of material that doesn't irritate their skin because Aww. it gets really sensitive during their treatments. Well, and it's super soft too. Yes. Okay, so I love that you have a heart for serving others. That's amazing. Let's talk about getting you though to Orlando in the fall for your competition because there are some sponsorship options out there if maybe someone's feeling led to help you. There's a GoFundMe set up also. Why should someone consider sponsoring Jordan? Well, it's really, sponsorships are really important for this pageant because they help pay for the international fees. And also, if you're a sponsor, like an individual or a business, you can get your name or your business information in a program book that's going to be distributed worldwide so that a bunch of people can see it. And they could come to your shop or your restaurant or something like that. And it just like gets you out there. And it supports an amazing girl doing amazing things in our <laughs> community who we love very, very much. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. And you better keep us posted come November how things go, oh, okay? Oh. All right, we're counting on that. If you want to learn more about Jordan and all the great work she's doing, there's a look at kind of how the sponsorship is working there. She does have a GoFundMe um, that is, we will have a link to, of course, and we'll put that all on Facebook after today's show so you can learn a little bit more um, about the program.